Hi, I'm Jason Rahm with Dev Central, and in today's episode of Lightboard Lessons, we're going to talk about VIP targeting VIP. And what this is, is this is a mechanism that allows you to send traffic from one virtual server to another virtual server within the same big IP. And so, a couple different reasons you might do that. We're just going to go through a few uh, uh, use cases here. And so, when we operated the uh, production Dev Central environment uh, out in the cloud uh, um, uh, a year ago, I think uh, we moved back into an IT data center, but uh, for a while we were out in a cloud environment and, and uh, we uh, on the Dev Central team actually got to manage uh, the infrastructure that uh, sat in front of Dev Central. And one of the things that we did early on before uh, moving out to the cloud is that we went through an, an iRule rewrite. And so we had big IP and at the time we, we did not uh, we did not ha yet have uh, an ASM uh, module in front of Dev Central uh, way back in the day and so we wrote all of our I rules so we have clients coming in and we have the Dev Central app servers back here and we had our I rules hanging off this box processing, we, we did some uh, content rewrites, uh, uh, friendly URLs, uh, some security things, uh, fixing some things that the app server at that time wasn't capable of doing. And so we had a, a list of I rules here. And so when we went to put ASM in place, we were in a conundrum because with the way the, the ASM sits on the big IP, uh, uh, from the proxy perspective, you have requests come in and then uh, they're, they're processed, uh, you know, on the client side of the proxy, and then you have the proxy, and then the server side of the proxy, and so this client server. And the ASM kind of sits here across the proxy, so anything that's handed up to ASM then comes out this backside. And then this handoff happens kind of too late for you to be able to do anything uh, with iRules, and this is at the time. Of course, uh, we have added some commands uh, so like HTTP request release HTTP response release that allows you to deal with uh, the I rules at this point and this point uh, whether it's uh, you know coming or going you can deal with those uh, that traffic after ASM hands off in either direction uh, with these I rules but at the time that wasn't available so one of the things that we came up with was we had Again, our big IP, and we had a front side VIP, and then we had a back side VIP. And on this VIP, as client traffic came in, we did I rules here. And then here is where we applied our ASM policy. Now, again, with, with events like this, in most scenarios, we could have completely rewritten our I rules and done it all on one VIP. But the, the power of having a VIP to VIP is that we didn't have to do that. And, and at the time we couldn't anyway, um, but we could have all the I rules here and then we would target from this VIP to this VIP. And the way that that's done is you have when client accepted and then you have your uh, closing brackets and then here that's uh, just the command virtual and then whatever your virtual name is. And so that allows you to pass the traffic from the front side VIP back to the, to the back side. And of course you can do it later. It doesn't have to be uh, in the client accepted event. Uh, but so that's one scenario in which uh, we've used in the production environment. Another one in a test environment that we supported was during our project acceleration effort, which we did a 10 part series on F5's acceleration stuff we wanted to be able to test all the different acceleration policies without having a whole lot of moving pieces. We wanted to have as few front doors for clients to come in and then we would switch them um, the, through a, a whole bunch of back doors. And so what we ended up doing is we had two VIPs on the outside. This one was just base TCP. Uh, that was base TCP. And this one was optimized TCP. And, and then on the back side, we had 
uh, no acceleration, and then we had uh, like compression, and then we had uh, like IVR, uh, images, uh, speedy, SPDY, that's SPDY. And based on cookies, based on uh, HTTP headers, we would then set paths from this, these front side virtuals to these back side virtuals. So a client would come in to either this or this virtual, and then they would come out the back side from any one of these virtuals down to our app servers. And that allowed us to have as few moving pieces as possible, so the, the, the test scenario uh, was the only moving pieces in it were the headers that we set, the cookies that we set on the client side, and, uh, and the path that they moved through this box. But everybody came through this box, and so it, it allowed us to have a very controlled test, scenario, uh, a, a test set uh, to test all these different policies and how they behaved uh, as a system, but also uh, what changed for client to server behavior as well. So a couple things to note with, uh, with uh, uh, VIP targeting VIP is that uh, it does not support connection mirroring. So if we're going to draw a big circle around and boom, don't do connect, it doesn't support connection mirroring, so you can't do that. One of the things that you can do to pass data from the front side to the back side is if you, uh, you can use the protocol that you're actually switching. So if it's uh, HTTP, you can use headers and cookies uh, to pass from front to back and back to front. Or you can use the shared var command in iRules. And what that allows you to do is you can set a variable uh, using the shared var, and then that variable is accessible to you on the back side or the front side, depending on where you set it. And, uh, and you can pass data that way between virtuals. So hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, look forward to hearing what solutions that you've come up with with uh, VIP targeting VIP, and we'll see you out there in the community.